Welcome to another Jenna Lee Quick Tip. We are so glad that you have found us and we hope that this video is helpful. If you like this content and find it useful, please be sure to share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. Welcome to another Jenna Lee OneNote Quick Tip. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can quickly distribute sections to your students and distribute pages to those sections as well. So in this example, I'm starting out in my team, but I prefer to work in my class notebook in the Windows 10 app. So I'm going to go ahead and click in open in browser at the top, open in desktop app. And when I do that, it's going to open up right into my class notebook in the Windows 10 app, which is going to give me a little more space to work in and a little more functionality. All right. So for this example, I want all of my students to have an additional section in their student space. And I want it to be a data folder like this is somewhere where I want them to track their progress, maybe an interest inventory, some smart goals. So I'm going to go ahead and distribute a section to my students and I'm going to call it data folder. All right, so I'm going to come up to class notebook at the top of my screen and I'm going to go ahead and click distribute new section. So once I click that, it's going to ask me, do I want to make a new section group or just a new section? For this purpose, we're going to do just a new section. I'm going to click on that and then it's going to say, what do you want to call that new section? All right, I'm going to go ahead and give it a title. And for this section, I'm going to call it data folder and I'm going to go ahead and click distribute. It is that simple. It's going to distribute to all of my students and it says distributed. So I know that that is already done. And if I tried to type it in again and give it the same name, because sometimes I'm like, did I send it? It says it already exists. So that's one way I know that I've already sent it. Now it may take a little bit of time to distribute to each of the student notebooks. Something that you can do is right click on the notebook name and sync the notebook. That will kind of make it go a little bit faster or you can actually close the notebook out and open it back up. And sometimes, oh, look how fast that came in right there, data folder. All right, so now all of my students have this data folder section in their notebook. Now we wanna put some things in that section. All right, so what I'm gonna do is actually add that section in my teacher only so I can build off of that. So I'm gonna go ahead and click in my teacher only section. I'm going to click down at the bottom, add section, and I'm gonna add a data folder for me to work in to build off of. So now that I have this data folder section, I'm going to come over here to my page and I'm going to go up to insert, print out, and I'm going to find some pages that I want to put into this. So this opened right up to the PDF that I want to insert into this section that I want to distribute to my student notebooks. So here's the page that I want my students to have. So this is how simple this is. I build the page the way I want and then I come up to the class notebook tab at the top and I click distribute page. Now what's great about this is I can send this individual page to individual students, to groups of students, or I can send it to multiple notebooks with the cross notebook distribution option. But for this purpose, I'm just going to distribute this one page. So I click distribute page, and then it's going to ask me what section do I wanna put that page in? Now we want to put it in the data folder section. So I click data folder and distribute. Now, when this is done, it's going to give me a check and say it is distributed. All right, so now I know that that page has been distributed to all of the students data folder section. So I can close that out and it may take a second, but we can check and see. Here is the data folder section and voila, look, there it is in every student's notebook. All right, so that is simple, easy. And what I would suggest is to continue to build in your teacher only, add another page, put the uh, PDF or image or whatever it is that you want to go to the student sections, and then simply distribute that page. And it will go to all of your students' sections instantly. So I hope that helps. Let us know if you have any questions. Don't forget to go and be a different kind of awesome.